Hey everyone, Chris Jackson here, and I am very excited about the demo I'm doing today. It is a demo on the Fuzzrocious Blast Ripper. Now, this pedal, they only made 40 of them. The sale sold out in 15 minutes. I was lucky to have set my alarm at 8 a.m., woken up, bought it in time, and I was one of the 40 people who got this. It's essentially just three of their already existing pedals in one. It has the Fuzzrocious Demon, the Fuzzrocious Cattail, which is a rat type thing, the demon being more of a distortion. And then it also has the Fuzzrocious Blast Furnace Fuzz, which is kind of like a gated fuzz, similar to maybe the uh, Way Huge Conquistador. And all those things are in one enclosure. So here's the deal with this guy. When you turn on the distortion pedal, you are turning on both the demon and the cattail at the same time. They're always on together. What you can do is mix them, which is what that red knob is for. You can blend all the way to the demon or all the way to the cattail or get any sound in between. Then the white volume and gain knob are for the cattail. The black are for the demon. The middle switch is a gate slash boost for that overdrive. You can get a lot of different tones, even though there's Actually, no tone knob on this side of the pedal. You can get many different things because these are two very different sounding pedals and together they sound really sick. So I'm just going to run a few sounds on that side. But first, let me tell you what I'm going through. I am playing a Dunnable R2 bass. This is my custom one that has a Billy Sheehan DeMarzio Willpower Mudbucker pickup in the neck. And then it has an Aguilar Precision pickup in the middle. And then I'm going into the pedal. After that, I'm going into my Galen Kruger, my Sunset Sound Mic Pre, a Focusrite Claret, and then that is in Logic, and nothing's happening on Logic besides just recording audio.
So yeah, a lot of options on that side, even though the pedals are tonally kind of paraphrased to their individual counterparts since there's no additional knobs like tone or anything you can still get a lot of sounds by blending the two together and then that gate and boost gives it even more color and power so now let's talk about the fuzz side again this is based on the fuzz Roche's blast furnace the fuzz section of it uh, it does not have the reverb or anything that the Blast Furnace has. This thing is crazy. It has so much tonal range, as you will see. So you have very wide tonal range from this guy. Uh, when it's at the brightest, it sounds almost like I'm playing a guitar, like a really messed up guitar. And then at the dullest, it's like the darkest big muff with like the speaker <laughs> facing the floor. So crazy. So now what I'm going to do for the last thing is uh, combine these things. And yeah, they really complement each other very well. A lot of times distortions, much less two distortions, uh, they don't sound that great with fuzz stacked but this is not the case here they sound freaking awesome so i'm just gonna show you a little bit
you can get pretty standard sounds out of this thing, or you can get very messed up ones. It's really totally up to you. As you can see, this pedal is on my board. I thought I was done with my board for this year, but uh, I got this guy, and it blew me away. I love it. It replaced the fuzzes I currently had on here. Those fuzzes are still awesome, by the way, just for what I'm doing right now. This is the guy. This thing sounds massive, and I'm very lucky to have gotten my hands on one. Now, that being said, it might be a little difficult for you to get one since, again, they only made 40, and I don't even know if there's any that are being sold by anyone else. However, you can get each of these individual pedals from Fuzzrocious. And that being said, I know Ryan is pretty cool about doing custom orders from what I know. I'm sure he'd be totally down to combine a couple of these pedals into one enclosure for you. He's been known to do that before. I've seen a lot of builds he's made that are a couple of his pedals in one thing that are just one-offs for a customer. So that's always an option. And once again, all these pedals that are within this enclosure uh, do not have all the controls that are available on the standalone versions. If you really like, say, the demon side that I was showing, you can get the demon and you'll have a little more options on that side. Definitely still check out Fuzz Roaches. They do crazy things. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give me a like and subscribe if you would. That would be really awesome. And thank you so much for being here and hope to see you next time.